So were you tying up loose ends after you torched the spa? What? That's crazy! The only loose ends I was tying up were my toothbrush and an extra pair of underwear. And now you tell me she's gone and, and you're acting like I had something to do with it? Mr. Reed, Brian, we have no evidence implicating you right now. And we know it must be a shock to hear about Portia. We need your help to figure out what happened to her. <laughs> I hope you can understand why we want to know the reason you were standing there with that thing. Sure, yeah, I can see how it looks. But really, it's just like I told you. I stopped by to pick up my stuff, yeah, including the, the hammer, and the door was broken open. I grabbed the, the, the tool for protection on the way inside. It was just inside the door. I wasn't there for more than a minute before you two showed up. So... But why was there a hammer at her house? You mentioned that as of yesterday, you and Portia were no longer together. Was this a mutual decision? Or did Portia break up with you? No, I broke it off with her. She... her... her drug problem was getting in the way. Weed. She knew I couldn't... She knew I had a problem with it, but she kept putting it in my face. But maybe if... Maybe if... Maybe she'd still be alive. Oh, God. Weed? Really? Of all the drugs, that seems a little bit... Tansified. Did you hit her? Hit her? No! Absolutely not! I would never hurt her! Seems a little bit harsh. C can I save the game first? No, why not? I couldn't really use that. I can just... A picture of that. Come on, Brian, I get it. She got a little out of line, right? So you had to shake a little sense into her. It wasn't like that. She just, you know, liked it a little rough sometimes. Look, it's not really my kind of thing, but Ew. it made it worth my while. Ew. Can anyone verify your location between the hours of 3 and 4 a.m.? I don't think so, no. I was at home hanging out with my buddy Jack for most of the night. But by then, Jack was gone, and I was pretty much passed out on my couch. Can your buddy Jack confirm your story? Well, I try not to ask the bottle too many questions. People look at me funny. <laughs> I get it. What do you do for a living, Brian? A uh, living? I, uh, I'm kind of between jobs right now. I'm looking for something in construction, but I'm not having a lot of luck. I do have a couple of leads, though, so ask me in a week, maybe. We might have some more questions for you soon. Would you mind waiting? I might as well. You probably won't get much out of me once I have a chance to start drinking. Jim, could you do a background check on Brian Reed? I called it in on the way over. I'll let you know what turns up. Let's head back to Portia Weissman's apartment. Maybe there's some evidence there that can link the break-in to dun, the fire. Dun, dun. Ooh, ooh, there's a footprint. Although it might just be Sarah's footprint. We need to find a shoe that matches this impression. It's made out of some kind of dirt. We should get well a sample. Then. I'm glad that we don't have to do the whole condemned style of... Uh, zooming in with the camera. If we can link the shoe impression to someone, then this dirt might tell us okay. where he's been. Why you assume it's he? Could be the person that broke into the apartment. Ooh, hello. marks here are thin and straight, but some are circular, just like the holes in the drywall at the spa. Hmm. Intriguing. Oh, 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 what the hell happened there? Hello, my friend Sledgehammer. This isn't just a hammer. It looks like something off a fire truck. Hey! I read a background on Brian Reed. Turns out that up until last week, he was a captain with the Las Vegas Fire Department. The battalion chief told me Reed had a mixed service record, multiple accommodations for bravery, but the guy was also on probation for insubordination. Well, when Reed failed a random drug test last week for the use of cannabis, they fired him. This reminds me. The notorious serial arsonist John Leonard Orr was both a fire captain and an arson investigator. Okay. Could it not be that she smoked or 
he smoked and it cost him his job because she breathed on him? I don't know. Maybe if it was a locker check, an analysis of his clothes or something, but I don't know. He pissed in a bottle, it's his own fault. Storing something in the broiler pan. Guess it's a little late to warn Portia about the fire hazard. Dates and dollar amounts. It looks like a record of the spa's finances. Slippers. Glorious. Oh, right, what's with these? Um. A black hair How pulled out of the that? root. Portia was a blonde, and Brian Reed has red hair. Someone well, else was here. From the root. I have no idea what these are. I want the slippers. Would be wrong of me to take the slippers. Oh, it's these curtainy things. All right. Then. I've got a very limited place to go, don't I? Can I look at now? Well, it looks like I'm going back here then. apartment is very odd. Oh, hello. More slippers. Why would you need two pairs of slippers? These are the questions you should be asking. The case is open, and the hard drive is missing. Hmm. Definitely sponsored by Asus. Also, normal people don't tend to have desktop PCs anymore. They have crappy laptops. Like Toshiba Specials. Hmm. So, we're not going to look through their belongings at all? Find any evidence that may be hidden in drawers? Look at the notes left on there. Dust the PC case for fingerprints, in case somebody purposely took out the hard drive. Yeah, let's that, not do it. UV sample of the bed. Hmm. That seems to be it. Unless I've missed something. I don't think I have. Let's look at this, shall we? Anything that I need to look at? Um, bloom much? Oh well, might as well go analyze all this. It's gonna take forever, isn't it? Oh! Hair! Find the hair! Could it be? It's always good to speculate. So neither per- oh, do I have anything chemical I can look at? Indeed I do. Primarily calcium sulfate and asbestos. That explains why the ceiling is Fantastic. Is it a muffin? Please tell me I can find the chemical uh, signature of a muffin. Fantastic. Now all I'd need is a replicator. There's quite a bit of carbon from where it burned. But there's also wheat flour, tapioca starch, and sodium carboxymethylcellulose. What I'm not seeing are any animal proteins. You know what? I think this is a vegan pastry of some kind. A I muffin told you from the that size of it. Ages ago. Well, the muffin part, not the vegan part. Hmm. 
Yep, I did complain that there was only five chapters or something. I'm starting to think that that was a good thing. It's largely made up of feldspar, clinopyroxene, and acetone. The minerals are found in volcanic ash, which is what they used to make the mud for the baths. And acetone was the accelerant used so at the, the spa. So the murderer came back. Oh -ho. Now we do need to check his shoes. We can check this. Ryan Reed's Denver tour is a match to the markings on Portia mm -hmm. Weissman's door. The axe head matches the thin slashes, and the hammer side matches the bigger holes. This tool, or one very similar to it, was used to ventilate the drywall. Mm, because he was a firefighter, that could explain the knowledge. I don't know, compare them. Shoe print! Compare the shoe print with him. <laughs> okay, let's go back, shall we? Is there anything else in here I can use, which is... Why does it move so slowly? Have any video. Kinda glad to be honest after what he was saying about the mark on our arm. Ooh. Maybe. Your victim had advanced mesothelioma. It's a type of cancer that attacks the lining of the vital organs. It's thought to be caused most often oh by dear. exposure to asbestos. It looks as though it was an ongoing problem for her. I discovered indications of a pleurectomy, the removal of the outermost lining of the lungs. From the scar tissue, that surgery probably took place a few years ago. She may have thought she was out of the woods, Unfortunately, I found an active malignancy in her pericardium, the lining of her heart. She didn't have long to live. You know, we Maybe found some asbestos at the crime scene. Cover it up. The whole ceiling was coated with it. There was even a corner of the break room where it had come down. You don't suppose our victim set the fire, do you? Revenge and suicide all in one? We'll have to ask Brass if she filed mm. any kind of complaint. Well, the pleurectomy obviously suggests at one point she knew she had cancer. But there's no way to know whether she was aware it had recently metastasized to her heart. I ran an expanded tox screen. She hadn't been taking any cancer medications, and I didn't find any tissue damage from possible radiation treatments. I did, however, find evidence of a persistent, dare I say, I just habitual about about use that. of cannabis. You know, a Harvard Medical School study concluded that one of the active chemicals in marijuana, THC, may in fact inhibit the growth of certain tumor classifications, even though it says right there in the press release that the growth of some other tumors might actually be accelerated by THC. A man hears what he wants to hear and disregards the rest, right? So now the idea that weed cures cancer is spreading far and wide. Ah. Anytime. This certainly opens up a whole new kettle of fish. What were you doing, Porsche? Should probably go and interrogate this blokey. Sup? Mr. Reed. Or should I call you Captain Reed? Not anymore. I'm no I longer with the Las Vegas, Vegas Fire Department. I bet you've seen a lot of buildings burn. And I bet you know a lot of ways to light them up. You know something, buddy? You are way to hell out of line! I devoted my life to jumping into the flames and saving people! 
And I lost friends in those buildings I've seen burn. So for you to sit there and insinuate that I may be an arsonist is the most offensive thing anyone has ever said to me. And Porsche? You think I said Porsche on fire? I mean, I don't know what kind of animals you people have to deal with, but that's mm. not me! Being a firefighter was obviously very important to you. So it must have hurt to lose that. Yeah, well, they were just looking for an excuse. I was actually trying to keep my head down. You were on probation. It was a tenement fire in the alphabets. Battalion chief thought the place was coming down. Ordered me not to go back in. You'd think I might earn a little slack for telling the boss to piss off, but let me save a room full of kids. And again, if I'd stopped at piss off, <laughs> maybe I would've. Wasn't Portia the one with the drug problem? Yeah, it was her problem, and she's the reason I got fired. Uh... Portia made pot brownies. Now, she says she didn't dose me intentionally, but she did leave the damn things right where I would find them, and she didn't tell me what they were. I ate three of them. I could barely get out of bed for like a day and a half. I don't know how she... I don't know how anyone can stand that stuff. And then, as if that wasn't bad enough, Happy Monday! Go pee in a cup! I dumped her because she got me fired from a job I loved. It's a firefighting tool, isn't it? It's called a Denver tool. Firefighters use it for getting into and out of places. Places like apartments? Only if they're mm -hmm. on fire. We think you used your Denver tool to break Porsche's door in. I told you, I got a key! Look, take it if you need it. You see those marks? Yeah. They line up perfectly with apples. your Denver tool. Mine or anybody else's. Even if it was a Denver tool, no firefighter did that. If I really wanted to bring that door down, I'd pry the hinges off. The last thing I'd do is hack at it like a maniac. Mm. Let's not tell him... I suppose you can tell him we suspect him. The fire was set by someone with the knowledge to burn that building to the ground. I don't care what you say. I would never start a fire. Hmm. The drywall at the spa was ventilated with a Denver tool. Well, it wasn't my Denver tool. Anybody can buy one on the internet. Even my... G even Portia had one. Why did Portia have a Denver tool? She took mine. She wanted it for protection. Said it creeped her out to be alone in that place all day. By that place? Do you mean the spa? Oh, yeah. Dear. She had hers at the spa. You know something? You're right. There are a lot of other Denver tools floating around out there. But in this case, I really only think there's one I need to worry about. And it belongs to you. You followed Portia to the spa. And when she was nice and relaxed in her mud bath, you torched the place. And then you went back to her apartment to get your things. And a few of her things, too. And then you tried to disappear. I bet you figured, hey, if it looks like a break-in, then no one will suspect the boyfriend who's already got a key to the place. And that might have worked for you, too. But you forgot to light a fire under yourself. You were still standing right there when we rolled up. Captain, I, I respect the police. Him. I really do. I know what it's like to go out there every day and put it all on the line. And I know you're just doing your job. But if you can look me straight in the eye and really hear what I'm saying to you, and yet still believe that I could do this to Pasha, then I feel very, very sorry for you, because you're not qualified to carry that badge. Now, are you really gonna arrest me, or what? No, we're not going to arrest you, Brian. But we'd appreciate if you could hold tight here for a while. All right, I will. For now. And like I said, I'm happy to answer your questions, but no more finger-pointing, or I'm done. We understand. Hmm. Thank you. You said that Portia spent hours alone at the spa. How often did she do that? Just about every day. You know, there were times I started to believe that place might be some sort of front. A front? Yeah, you know, for money laundering. Portia was convinced, and she was keeping her own records. She told me that place wasn't mm. making a dime. I've already gotten the records, why are you asking that? Did anyone else That's know Portia was keeping financial records? 
think she might have mentioned it to a boss, which seemed like the wrong guy to talk to about it, but she trusted him. At least she did. But after she talked to him, she got all paranoid, ended up hiding all the papers in the broiler drawer. I thought she was just high. Hey, you guys looking at him for this? Thanks for sticking around. No problem. I'll be waiting. Don't like you for saying that. It was out of line. Right. Hi. Uh, sorry, I was shaving. Cut myself. What can I do for you? Nothing yet, nothing yet. We'll be back. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Looking forward he, to he it. He dropped... Blood. Blood. And then get a sample of that, compare it to the hair. Bear in mind he has brown hair. Good catch. That should contain a workable a sample of his DNA. I'm going to sneeze. Ah, he sneezed. Right. DNA. DNA, DNA. It's back one. Yeah, I feel like I'm investigating. Why can't I? Why can't I use... I use equipment on it while I'm... Oh, yes, I can. That makes sense, I suppose. Pete Baja's DNA, yeah. ready for processing. Let's compare this. No. Nope. Right. I apologize for being quiet in this, I am concentrating. Though it doesn't really look like I need to. No, it really doesn't look like I need to concentrate, does it? There we are. The Baja was in Portia Weissman's apartment. Even though he told us he'd never been Everything's there. Everything's coming up Afro. How's the arson case? Is your decorated fireman still the prime suspect? I'm not so sure now. You mean her case? I'm doing everything. For everything. And what I thought was the best evidence we had against him, his firefighting tool, well, it doesn't actually provide us with anything conclusive. On top of that, the spa's owner, Pete Baja, lied to us about never visiting the victim's apartment. All right. Well, talk to Brass. See if he can help you I take a closer like look at guy. this, Mr. Baja. Oh. All right, you're down here already. I was just going to call you. This is Special Agent Gene Huntby of the FBI. It seems your case may be crossing into his jurisdiction. Agent Huntby, why don't I let you explain the situation to them? Thank you, Captain Brass. It's my understanding your prime suspect in the arson fire at the Super La Spa is Pedro Baja. Is my information correct? We're looking at him for the arson and a homicide. A young woman by the name of Portia Weissman died in the fire. Is that right? Well, let me explain why I'm here. Are you familiar with Lorena de la Colmena? Unfortunately, as a member of law enforcement, you should be. In Spanish, it means the Queen of the Hive, and it's the alias for a woman named Beatriz Salazar, now the most dangerous drug lord in Mexico. We believe Pedro, Pedro Baja was in her employ. Okay. So is this the part where you tell us to back off Mr. Baja and let you do your job? No, Ms. Seidel, not at all. I want you to get your man. I want you to get him so bad he'll have no choice but to cut a deal. You see, in the entire universe of Lorena de la Colmena's drug trafficking operation, Baja's just a satellite, a small-time money launderer through those little shops of his. But for some reason, we have him on wiretaps in direct communication with Salazar. The taps themselves are useless because Baja and Salazar communicate in code, referring to things like family, weather, whatever. But why she's talking to him directly instead of through an intermediary, I have no idea. But it's that direct connection that means, if we can bring down Baja, then we have our best shot yet at taking down the Queen of the Hive herself. 
Agent Hunpy has requested the opportunity to keep tabs on us for a while and run this one as a joint jurisdiction. You do your thing, I'll Seems do mine. Fair. <laughs>